So China did say on Wednesday that it will take measures against U.S. entities related to the downing of that suspected Chinese spy balloon off the American East Coast. At a daily briefing, the foreign ministry spokesperson gave no details and did not identify the targets of that measures. Again, so many questions here. Mark Chandler, intelligence and security studies professor at Coastal Carolina University, is also a retired senior defense intelligence official, and he does join us live now to talk a little bit more about this. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. You're welcome, and good morning, Josh. Good morning. So first off, the relationship between the U.S. and China. I have so many questions here after all of this has gone on. But what exactly do we think China means when they do say that uh, they're going to take these measures against the U.S.? Well, I, I think in, in often misunderstood terms, China does what it says it's going to do. and We don't appreciate the subtleties of that in the United States. And so what I think China is trying to do right now is continue to save face. They're embarrassed that they were caught and that they were caught and publicly outed in such a way. And so they're gonna continue this, if I will, a denial campaign, and then they're focused on deflection, and now they're gonna enter into a counter phase. So deny, deflect, and counter. Their deny is that this was an intelligence platform. Obviously, we know that's not true. And deflection, you saw in the stories they had the other day about the United States flying similar type collection capabilities over China, which has not been proven in the least. And now we're entering the counter, counter phase. And I think what you're going to see now can run across a gamut of what we call the elements of national power. If you will, that's information, and China is excellent in the information warfare sphere. Diplomatic, we're entering that economic and then military. They have options along that entire range of activities. And you said it best. They may not, uh, they, they are essentially are going to be vague. So we're going to be left with so many questions here. Do you think this is actually posing a, a problem with U.S. and China relations at this point? Because this is such a huge story, whether you're in the U.S., in China, this is something that so many people are talking about. Is this going to pose a problem for uh, the relationship here between the U.S. and China? Well, Josh, that, that's an excellent question, and I think it will pose a problem if the United States allows it to pose a problem. You know, we have a national security strategy that came out in October of last year, and it talks about China being the pacing threat and the things we're going to do to counter Chinese capabilities and Chinese efforts. However, at the same time, it still advocates a one China policy. So exactly what is our approach and are we going to be proactive or reactive? So it poses a, a threat to us, a concern to us if we're not proactive. And I think we need to be ready for what China may do, subtle and not so subtle across all these different elements of national power. President Biden has been kind of pressed on whether he is going to make a speech specifically about this. Do we think, just based on your experience, that he is actually going to uh, give a full speech about all of these objects that have been shot down? Jo Josh, I hope he does. Uh, it, it is time for something like this. With the questions of, of the everyday American citizen, we need to understand what our national security apparatus, led by the president, is doing about it. But it assuage our concerns at least come out there and say we have this and here is our plan forward we don't have to release classified details but we do have to come up with some sort of process to the american people saying you know we've got you covered don't worry have we ever seen anything like this before you don't hear about objects just being shot out of the sky by the U.S., not just over Alaska, off the coast of South Carolina, uh, one over near Canada. Essentially, is this something that we've ever seen happen before and maybe the American people just don't know it? Josh, I will tell you this is unprecedented action. S since the inception of NORAD, these acts are the first hostile takedown of any adversarial or unknown object over the continental United States or over NORAD's air defense area. All right, what is left to uh, figure out about everything here? Do you think we're ever gonna know what these objects were that, that were shot down? Well, I, I think first off, the first shoot down, 
the the folks in the navy are doing a great job off the coast here at myrtle beach collecting a lot of the the key components will take weeks to months to analyze that i think when we look at the other objects the terrain is difficult to get those but it would be good to have pieces of those to at least understand who they were or what they were rather so i look at that and i go it can't be too much of a commercial enterprise because no one said i've lost my balloon i've lost my octagonal object so what are they? We need those answers, again, to go back and reassure the American populace. So I look at that, and then as we march forward, we really have to be aware of how China's going to come at us diplomatically, economically, or militarily even. And I'm not talking, uh, you know, an overt attack. I'm talking about things where they're going to encounter or counter our freedom of navigation, let's say, in the Taiwan Straits or South China Sea, or our free collection in international waters and international airspace. China still, my understanding is, maintains that this was a weather balloon from a civilian that did blow off course. So why would they be so upset, just in your opinion, for America shooting it down if, uh, let's say, it was actually just a weather balloon? Well, if it was a weather balloon, I will come back on your program and apologize to the PRC personally. Uh, however, I don't think that's going to happen. So when I look at this, again, it's that public international embarrassment because China wants to present a face that they are not an aggressor. They can do no wrong. They're not going to upset the international dynamics, the, at least the international dynamics according to China. And so they want to, as I said, continue to deny and they'll work on deflection throughout the life cycle of this story, but I think to position themselves for more of that strategic approach against the United States. All right, Mark Chandler, big expert here. We appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. Obviously, there is still a lot left to figure out here. Is there anything else that you want to add before I let you go? Well, Josh, just like last week, I, you know, I appreciate the opportunity the Chinese are giving us to apply these national security lessons here at Coastal Carolina. We're able to to ask the questions you're asking me, my students aren't gonna like it because we're gonna put it to them today and, and try to get them to think through that entire process. And maybe we'll offer some suggestions up to Washington. I mean, that's true, yeah. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us again. We appreciate it. You're, you're welcome, Josh. Thank you very much.